Welcome to Inside Out Boys with your host, Cody Bass. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Big hello to all the new subscribers and thank you for subscribing. Um, we're going to get uh, doing a little bit of uh, outboard stuff here. I'm bringing a new candidate in and I uh, still got a little work to do on that little um, five and one half I think 1963 Johnson just blowing up the cowling and stuff like that and then I got another candidate after the second one I'm gonna bring in so we got a lot of outboard fun going on in this video and uh, just want to say a uh, big shout out to you folks down there on the Gulf Coast Louisiana and Alabama and that area there well you guys have just been getting getting hammered and um, my thoughts are with you and I hope that everybody down there and your loved ones and friends are safe. Um, been tough for you guys down there the last couple months so thinking about you for sure so let's get on these outboards and get to it. I do see a very light spark on that spark plug, but uh, interesting. I could see it, but I, I would think it should be jumping harder than that. So I think I'm going to change out that power pack real quick and just see if it does anything different. Let me go get one. So I changed out the power pack. The spark seemed to be about the same. Um, but I found that, that on these Suzuki's it's always kind of like that. But something I didn't notice at first, but I hooked up the fuel and I noticed that the fuel bowl, filter bowl, was completely clear and empty. So I don't know. I'm going to just try and start it. <laughs> We've got spark. I checked that again. Like I said, it don't look like much spark, but it's spark. Let's check it. Well, she's wanting to run, but that was... See, that fuel thing's leaking. Try it again. I'm losing suction through this. I think I'm going to change this out to an Evan Root uh, OMC style. Look at that outboard peak. That's the way you want to see an outboard peak. It's sucking air through that.
it's still got a little bit of a sneeze there, but I could sit there and adjust it. It's gotten a lot better. Um, so, the owner's supposed to be over to give it a look-see and uh, see what they want to do with the kill switch. I'll see. Um, but it, it seems to be a halfway decent run, a little motor. It needs to be taken out run real good. That's what it needs. So, I'll be right back. Mmm. One of the best ways I like to eat plums is partially green with salt. About like that one. Just a little color. But I like them big and red too. And they're they're ripening pretty quick. But uh that one's perfect. Mmm. Then I have to get my pole and get them top ones up there. I tried the ladder thing and almost killed myself. So for these ones up here, I've been doing the hook stick thing and it ain't easy. It's all really ripe one in there somewhere. I find them now. Well, we know what it means when I wear the hat. The hat, it means Christmas on 10-10-2020. 10, 10, 10, 10 October 10, 2020. It's Christmas in October. What did I get? What did I get? Let's look. Messing around, picking some plums, doing some stuff. And the guy pulled in, he said, Hey, hey, I got this out for you. want it? I said, I want it. So I got it. Said it's been sitting in his house, in a shed, in a garage rather, of a house that he just recently purchased that had a big shop. And he said it was back there in the corner. Seems to be a little seized up. I don't know whether it'll uh, free up or not, but that'll be another video. But it's Christmas in October. I told you I was going to put some goo on this hood uh, gasket on this little cutie. So I'm going to slurp it on there real good. Get that on there before I put it back on the rack. And I guess I should hook up the bottom spark plug. There we go. 
So we got some goo all the way around. Put the goo. You need the goo. Put the goo. All the way around, all the way. People would just take care of their little cuties. Okay, good night, good. There we go. Almost. There we go. Corner give me a little trouble there. Going on in. There we go. Nice. Nice them. Nice them. Everybody nice them. The goo, the goo, the goo. Now, get in there. Get down in there. Get down in there. Fantastic little outboard. So what's next? The owner of this one, I showed him that kill switch and that he could choke it, but he is buying this as a gift for a lady friend. I told him I can install a Sea Dog Man Overboard switch. And I told him what it would cost and so forth, and he was like, I am happy to pay that. So I will be bypassing that throttle kill switch. And hopefully I educated him on a few things. And I will add a Sea Dog Man Overboard switch and that little unit will be ready to go. And right now, we're gonna get this one set up for a fax check and see what we get. I'll be right back. I almost forgot. It's name Dat Toon. Where the cops all have wooden legs, the bulldogs all have rubber teeth, and the hens lay soft boiled eggs. Name Dat Toon. Will oh, that work? Yeah. It should. Alright. If we don't get no arc and sparking, we should beat them two right in there. See what we get. Got too hot spocky. Too hot on the spot. So, let's get the compressionius. 
see what we get. Hmm. Let's see what we get. Zeroed out on the bottom. Let's spin her over. What we get? What we get? We got about 90, 95, 100, 105, about 107. About 107 on the bottom. Not bad. So, let's do the top Okay. We are on the zero on the top. On the zero on the top. On the top on the zero. <laughs> We got 120, about 119 probably. So we got compression. This is good because them spark plugs look terrible. First thing I'm gonna do is spray a little intake cleaner in them. Then I'll spin it and follow it up with a little tri-flow. But there's some white milky stuff. See that yuck coming out? Look at that. Nasty. I mean, I can even see rust on the threads. So, let me spin that over a little bit. Then I'll put a shot or two of Tri-Flow in there. Clean the plugs up put them back in. Let me get a piece of paper towel, or a rag, or a paper towel, or a rag or a paper towel. Clean that yuck up a little bit. Clean that yuck up, man. Clean that up. Clean that mess up, man. Sorry. Mm -hmm. What I'm going to do with these plugs is spray them off with the intake cleaner. The, in no, 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 the intake cleaner. Just spray them off a little bit. Then I'll run them over to my wire wheel with the fine wire wheel. Not the coarse wire wheel. Now they look a lot better. Don't they look a lot better? Yeah. They look a lot better. Nice and clean. Nice and clean. So. It is actually a beautiful day today. I got my smoker full of salmon smoking. Tomorrow I plan on doing a bunch of canning. Both raw pack salmon and smoked salmon. So I can have my smoke dip or my smoked salmon on the crackers with the Louisiana hot sauce. Speaking of Louisiana, hey, hey. You are in our prayers. You guys have been just getting hammered this year. So I want you to know that you are definitely in my thoughts. Poor guys. A little dielectric. little dielectric. Got to use it. Use it. little on the ceramic. little on the tip. little on the ceramic. You know the drill. You know that drill. So... I 
I say we throw it in the tank and see what we get. We might not get nothing. But we got compression and we got spark. So we got at least a place to start. Yes, we do. Didn't feel good. Nothing went in that carburetor. Nothing. Nothing happened. Yeah, and it looks like it goes straight. Hmm. Well, the primer feels like it's. Yeah, I'm probably pumping water into it. Oh, no, man. Let's see where you're at. Oh, no. You will see what I will see. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. That was probably the tri -flow. Yeah. Nothing went in that carb. No, not. Maybe a little one in. You know, and I think this is a B engine too. Where's the plate? Where's the plate? I'm not seeing one. This is a Belgium engine. Oh, there it is. Let's see it. Yep. BE. This is one of these Belgium maids. But I can't seem to get gas to go in that car. off with the carburetor. You call me. It's going to have to come a party. Okay, so I got the carb off this little bitty six horse made in Belgium. And uh, we'll get to cleaning it and uh, see if that's gonna be a runner and uh, who knows we might find some other stuff wrong with it but uh, that's gonna be a wrap on this one right now because it's getting a little bit long so that full show is one more hack from Cody Ann. thanks for watching please share and like the inside outboards with your host Cody Bass.